Hi, my name is Kamran Siddiqui. I'm a double E with a bachelor's and I'm microelectronics, master's in microelectronics, but I really never got into using uh, or doing with circuits, so I had to go in the direction my career took me. But I uh, finally got back into it after many, many years, and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, what you see here is basically a uh, an LED chaser circuit so if I power it up for you guys you can see the right side has got 10 set of LEDs that are really moving f real fast and then the middle set is moving really slow and the one on the left is moving fast but not as fast as the one on the right so what I've done is I've after testing it out on my breadboard I've got it uh, done here in uh, with basically I've used uh, two sets of uh, 555 timers and three 4017 uh, decade counters which is this one here one here and one here now I could have used three 555 timers but since I needed one real slow frequency so what I've done is that you know there's a feature in the 4017 on pin 12 you can take that output uh, which is a divide by 10 and that slows down your frequency so I've gonna use that as an input for the other uh, decade counter and that gives me that really uh, slow uh, frequency that you see in the middle and how this project came about uh, in being is that my daughter uh, in third grade is uh, doing a project on electricity that I kinda chose for her uh, she wanted to do something nice and this is this is what I've done for her so far so what you see here is uh, this is a thin wire which is basically one strand of steel wool and then a couple of them put together to represent a thick wire and basically a thickest wire is represented by a bunch of them you know you could like take 10 or 11 of those so once I switch this on you can see it's really dim now it's kinda really uh, becomes hazy as you're making this video so by the naked eye you can really see the difference uh, you may not see the difference you may say oh well it this product doesn't work doesn't seem to work right but I've tried showing you what I hear here see I, I think you can you can kinda get the idea here so you can see that the uh, the first uh, light bulb is really sort of a dim and then this is a little bit brighter and this one is the brightest and so what I've done just to make it more interesting for the class is that I'm going to add those LEDs that I've done on the circuit so that the kids can really enjoy seeing how electricity moves fast and slow in different resistances so you can see I've marked out these 10 spots here so it's basically showing them on the thin wire is going to be really slow moving LED that represents slow electricity and then here it's a thick wire which is a bit faster and then you get a thicker wire it's going to move really fast so that's what I have here for you guys on on uh, how this uh, LED chaser circuit came into being and once again so that's what's going to represent uh, so the one you see the one on your right side actually represents what you see up there which will be the thicker wire and what you see in the middle here which is a really slow moving LEDs uh, would be represented or put in, in that fashion there so it represents a uh, thin wire and the thick wire is going to be the one on your uh, left hand so this is what the circuit is uh, I really enjoyed making it I'm thinking like I'm probably going into doing uh, microcontrollers but you know I've been out of practice with C language so I'm kind of brushing up that and soon maybe I'd start doing projects with uh, Atmel microcontrollers uh, microcontrollers so if you guys like this, if you have any feedback, please let me know. Uh, this is just kind of on the fly that I've made this video here. Uh, but I really enjoyed the project. It was really interesting. Uh, opened up a lot of my electrical concepts once again. And kind of really my daughter really enjoyed this as a third grader. Uh, because it really shows her how electricity is m moves. And, you know, you need, you need, you need power, energy uh, for electrons to move and how that happens in a switch. To represent that you know uh, if there's a break in in a continuation of of electricity then electricity stops flowing so she's really enjoyed this one here but I'm just gonna make the project a little bit more interesting for the whole class by adding these LEDs which is definitely way beyond the scope of a third grader so this is just for you guys here for who love uh, electronics I uh, appreciate all the feedback and if you want more information uh, I'll have my email or you can leave comments. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, have a great day.
guys, this is Kamran Siddiqui once again. This is part two of the project that I talked about uh, earlier. Uh, remember, I was talking about my third grade daughter's project, uh, trying to explain electricity, how that moves. And then I so showed you an LED chaser circuit. So now you see this is the final product. Uh, you can see these are the uh, these are all the LEDs that I've got uh, fixed, uh, put together. So this will represent the thin wire, the thick wire, and obviously this is going to be the thicker wire. So let's turn on the circuit and show her the electricity really just has a tough time going through a thin wire because the resistance is high. This is a steel wool that I've used before. And I think I explained that in my first part of the project. And so you can see that. Uh, a pretty demarked uh, clear difference you can see this is just glowing uh, you can say it's dim then a thick wire is a little bit much brighter and obviously this is the brightest and let's turn on the circuit that widths that I've finally built together and put it in the, in this uh, experiment so once we turn this on boom there you go so you can pretty much see that the LEDs are doing their job. Uh, the project is a success. I really enjoyed doing it. Uh, if you guys want more information, I would be more than happy to give you all the details. Uh, so this is what the project is. So you can see the thin wire is showing the electricity moves kind of slow. So that's how it's going around the wires. Boom, boom, boom. Then the thick wires is, is much faster and the thicker wire is really, really fast. And if I show you the back of this, obviously you don't want to look at that. It's it's a big jumble, but hey, it's working fine. So this was a circuit that I had showed you earlier before, and so um, it's just a cardboard that I used um, just out of a product that we had. And so this is the board that I have. I'm sorry, I had to flip this over, but just to make the wires a little bit more closer, and so that the soldering. I could, so the solder could face me just in case something got loose I could re-solder it and if I had it facing the other way with the front uh, then it would be tough to go remove all that again and fix back so there it is and here's my power supply uh, what I just got left now is just have to put it in a little enclosure and put it on her project board on science project board so that's about it and I've kind of made it so that, you know, it can fix on her board so it's not too fat. I've kind of flattened out wires and, well, anyways, uh, as things go on, it'll it'll improve. And so that, that's a power supply there. And I put a little switch here. So once she's done explaining to the class uh, about how electricity moves, then all she's got to do is just, you know, switch this on and switch that off. So her project is basically the top part. And this is just, uh, you know, so I, love, I, I kind of love electronics and have started getting back into the DIY stuff and done a lot of research on microcontrollers and things like that. So I'm getting back into action, but it's kind of slow because i got a lot of other things to do. Uh, but anyways, if you guys enjoy it, please uh, give me a heads up. appreciate uh, watching, and if you want the information, I'll be more than happy to provide that. You guys all have a great day. Uh, by the way, Happy New Year to all of you, and you all uh, have a blessed, uh, prosperous, and happy New Year uh, this year.